Hello everyone, this is Team Heisenberg and we have built this uh, cross-chain transfer uh, platform, Transify, using Router Protocol. So Transify is a platform that provides uh, facilities to transfer your native cryptocurrencies from one chain to another chain by just one click. That is a swap function. So let me just introduce you to the user interface of our Transify platform. So on the left side, you as you can see, there is an aggregator which provides uh, the data uh, of the funds that uh, you might have inter uh, that you might have invested in like if you have invested in uh, ethereum then it is showing that it is currently at a loss of 2.27% uh, polygon is also at a loss of 1.29% and avalanche is at a profit of 3.08% so uh, with a natural tendency we will definitely try to transfer your funds from ethereum uh, uh, so here we are using the testnet uh, for the showcase purposes so from ethereum to avalanche because it is in profit right now so i'll show you the demo here and as you can see the right hand side is the swap function so the uh, upper tab bar provides the avalanche is 3.08 percent and the second uh, tab in in the second tab you have to enter the amount of ethereum that you want to swap from ethereum to avalanche mainnet in the native cryptocurrencies so i'll just enter the amount that I want to transfer from Ethereum to Avalanche. So this is uh, 0 0.01 Goldie E that I want to transfer. And I'll just click on the swap function to process the transfer. As you can see, it the MetaMask gets opened and it is asking for confirmation. I've confirmed the transaction and uh, now as you can see, we are on etherscan to see our transaction so this is our transaction that we have just processed it's just 10 seconds ago it is still pending it will take some time so just a few seconds thing So as you can see the transaction uh, here, so this is the transaction hash and this is just, so it is successful just one minute ago and we have transferred 0 0.01 ETH from our Ethereum to Avalanche so as to get profit. So we copy our transaction hash and we paste it on the router uh, explorer as we have used router protocols cross uh, crosstalk uh, contract so this is the ui which helps us to uh, uh, track all the crosstalks happening so we have uh, pasted the transaction hash here and so as you can see on the crosstalk uh, router protocol we can see the transaction has been mined here on the testnet and 0.01 goldie ETH has been transferred to Avalanche. Until it gets processed, I'll just quickly go through the smart contract that we have used from the router protocol and made many changes to it. Okay, so we have imported the required libraries and contracts from the router protocol. We have defined the owner, the gateway contract. So this is the gateway contract provided by the router protocol, which will be uh, communicating exchange uh, with the contracts that we have deployed on particular chains. So uh, let me just uh, uh, okay. Let me just show you the setter ratio. Okay, the transfer the transfer token. The transfer token is the function that uh, starts the request of uh, token transfer from one chain to another chain. So we need to provide the chain type, chain ID of the destination chain the amount of the the amount that we need to transfer and the re recipient address on the destination chain uh, to which we want to transfer the funds so this contract uh, starts the trans transfer process uh, the pay the payload we have encoded uh, on the on the source chain which we, we would be decoding on the uh, destination chain and we have uh, used the single request without acknowledgement so we are not using the acknowledgement uh, we have the destination gas limit and this is the mapping that we have used to map chain type with chain ID and the address of the contract in bytes 
the transfer the transfer params include the recipient the recipient is the address of the contract in the destination chain that we want to transfer our funds to x chain and the value is the amount of funds that we uh, want to transfer the constructor takes in a uh, uri a uh, gateway address that is provided by the router protocol the destination gas limit and we have set the owner of the contract over here so set contract on chain is uh, basically for the deployer of the uh, contract so the chain type chain id and the contract address the contract address is the address of that contract that we would be using to liquidate our funds to uh, act as a lock function in the source chain and act as an unlock function in the destination chain the uh, chain type and chain id are specific for avalanche and the other two chains that we have used so okay uh, this is transfer cross chain here we have used this and we have passed the payload encoding the transfer params okay so handle request from source is the function that we use on the destination chain to accept the transfer here we have the source contract address, the payload that we just transferred from the uh, from the source chain, the source chain ID, and the source chain type. Okay, so uh, transfer params. Here we are decoding the uh, transfer params that we that we had just sent from the source chain, and uh, here we are trans. Uh, so the funds were were transferred to the contract that we set it in the set uh, contract address which acts as a unlock function on the destination chain and here we are trans uh, transferring those funds from the address from the contract address deployed by the deployer which acts as an unlock contract on the destination chain to the recipient address on the destination chain where the user wants to send his funds to so yeah uh, that's it about the contract so well, let me just uh, go to the previous tab for which we had waited and as you can now see it uh, as the transaction was completely mined and it is now being showed on the uh, router explorer protocol let me just paste it here and uh, see the information so as you can see it is a successful uh, transaction and 0 0.02 we have got 0 0.02 avax and the transaction be 0.061 so yeah that so now as you can see the funds have been transferred to my wallet and yeah that's it so this was our protocol uh, our use of the router protocol we have aggregated we have integrated an aggregator to see the profit and loss and just uh, swap our uh, funds uh, accordingly in just one swap so yeah that's it thank you